keep inventing. I you. The Muslim community in Raleigh, North Carolina, we're just so proud of you. Thanks. So proud of you. Yes. And Texans are proud of you, too. Nice to meet you. From Texan schoolboy to overnight superstar. Can we take one with you? One, two, three. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Do it. Do your. Ah, that's awesome. I hope you're getting into MIT. Too. Not many 14 year old boys get mobbed when they go for a walk past the White House. How does it feel having a, having a fan club? No, it's pretty fun. Uh, I get, get a lot of support and I get to meet new people every day. For example, like I walk in the streets and get noticed, but it's really <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it was this homemade clock in a metal case with a red display and wires that turned Ahmed Mohammed into a household name. When I made the clock at home, I was actually I finished it. It took me a couple of days to find stuff for it, but after I finished it, I just put it in my backpack and I took it to school with me the next day. And I showed my teacher. I want to impress them and show them that I'm an engineer. Instead, the school called the police. Ahmed was handcuffed, taken to a juvenile detention centre and interrogated for building what police called a hoax bomb. The, at the moment when the police called us, uh, Ahmed was being arrested. So we felt very, very sad. And I don't receive any call from the school. I didn't receive anything that my, my son has accused of being charged for something. And it's supposed to be. That is a law. That is the rule. Uh, when I look back on it, it still makes me feel uncomfortable. Ahmed's arrest drew worldwide attention, shining the spotlight on what American Muslims say is a growing problem. Well, I think it was just seen as symptomatic of the rise of Islamophobia in our nation that the simple act of making a clock and taking it to school to show to your uh, teachers would get you arrested and uh, taken away in handcuffs. It's a problem that's being exacerbated by the upcoming U.S. presidential election. I think we've seen a, a religious intolerance uh, really striking a chord in, in terms of the right wing of the political spectrum. And uh, people like Ben Carson and Donald Trump seem to get more support the more intolerant uh, they are, the more bigoted and anti-Muslim they are. So I think you're going to see a lot more of that, unfortunately. But out of the trauma has come triumph. Ahmed has become a hero in the Muslim community. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Muslim of the Year Award recipient, Ahmed Mohammed. He's only a teen, but he's already embraced that mantle. And I just want to stop discrimination for everyone, not just for religious, but for all races as well. Ahmed's fame has now taken him all over America and the world. He just got back from his father's birthplace in Sudan. Mom, look at the memorial tower. Isn't it like 115 feet tall? Today, he's in Washington at the invitation of the president. Hi. Hey. You're handsome. Hey. Give him a high five. Give him a high five. There you go. Give him a high five. All right. After Ahmed was arrested, he received an outpouring of support on social media, from an invitation from Facebook's founder to visit their headquarters to Barack Obama, who asked him to bring his cool clock to the White House. I feel pretty excited. I get to meet the president and I get to see the White House. Do you have, what are you going to say to the president if you do get to meet him? I'll talk to him about how hard it is growing up in, in places different from where you come from. Hello, everybody. He was one of hundreds of children at the president's annual astronomy night. You know, when I look out in the faces of these young people, I am absolutely confident that uh, there are new frontiers that we're going to be busting through uh, in my lifetime and beyond. So thank you for that. You make me excited and you make me inspired. Ahmed met briefly with Barack Obama and got to spend the night with some of the brightest minds in American science. Ahmed still has some challenges ahead. His legal team are considering suing the school and the police department. He's not going back to his old school and he's yet to find a new one. 
but he plans to keep on inventing and has lofty ambitions for the future. One achievement from, from all achievements, it would be to, to bring peace 